Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel and today we are doing cash stuffing explained. What is cash stuffing? How do you do it? How do you get started? And why is the first month the absolute hardest? We're going to go over all of that in this video, so keep watching. Today, I will be showing you the step-by-step -step process to begin your own cash stuffing journey. To get started, you're going to need paper, a pen, and some envelopes. And if you want to get fancy, <laughs> and if you want to get fancy, you can go over to Etsy and find these awesome clear personalized envelopes. The first thing you're going to want to do is write down all of your expenses. Bills, credit cards, food, gas. Next to your expenses, you're going to want to write the amount that it costs per month. I created this worksheet as an example to show you exactly how to get started. I know it looks like a lot, but don't worry, we'll go through it together step by step. And like I said earlier, I'll explain why the first month is the hardest and the second month easy breezy lemon squeezy. So let's begin. Okay, so for right now, I just want you to focus on this top table right here. Don't worry about this, we'll get to this next. So like I said, go ahead and list all of your expenses and next to it, go ahead and list all of the amounts. Next, we're going to divide each one by four because there are four weeks in every month. So eight divided by four is 200. So we're gonna write 200 in all of these boxes. And if you pay yourself $200 every week, it'll total up to your full rent or mortgage, whatever it is for you. Now you're gonna do that for every single one. So you're gonna divide this number by four and that's how much you're gonna be stuffing every single week. 120 divided by four is 30. So every single week, you'll be paying $30 there. And then the car payment is gonna be $50 per week. The amazing thing about the cash stuffing method, it is so versatile and also customizable. All right, so next I'm gonna total that up, giving us $280 per week for expenses. Next, we're gonna go into sinking funds. Now, when I first started, I had no idea what sinking funds were, and if you don't either, that's okay. Sinking funds is basically any fund that sinks like your food, your entertainment, your gas, anything that you have to keep adding money to that is gonna keep going down. So for food, I said we spend about $400 a month, so that's gonna be $100 every week. Next is fun, entertainment, whatever you wanna call it. And last, we have gas, so let's do $20 per week in gas. All right, now this is where we get a little bit complicated, so stay with me. So here we have two months, week one through four here and week one through four here. So we've got month one on this side, month two on this side. Like I said, I'm going to explain why the first month is always the hardest and the second month is smooth sailing. For this example, I'm going to be using my green sharpie for the due dates. So let's say your home, your rent, your mortgage, whatever that is, is due on the first week of the month. We'll do that also for the second month. Now let's just focus on home. So like we said, home is $800 a month. So week one, how much do you owe? You owe $800 because it's due that first week. And then we have three weeks before the next due date. So we're going to divide this 800 by three, giving us $267. Now, this amount will equal up to $800 and we will have the rent for the next month ready. Here, we have four weeks until the next rent is due. So now we can go ahead and do the 200 a week. Next, we'll do the utilities. So it says 
$120 per month. Let's say utilities is due on the second week of every month. So if we have to have this ready, we're going to have to do the full 120 here. So we're ready for the next due date. But now here, we're up to date and we can do the full four weeks. So that's 30 each week and we can just continue. Next, we'll go ahead and do your car payment and it is $200 per month. Let's say your car payment is due on the third week of every month. For you to have the full amount ready for the due date, we're gonna divide this by two, making this 100 each. And now you're all caught up, so you can go ahead and start doing your 50s. Now for the sinking funds, there are no due dates, so you can go ahead and just begin with the divided payments. Now that we've got all of this filled out, I'm going to go ahead and total each column. Now that we've got all of that totaled up, you can see the difference between the first week and the last week, how much you're going to have to pay. As you go farther along, your payments get less and less, and it just gets so much easier and gives you a little bite size payment instead of waiting until the last very second and paying everything when they're due. So this is why it is the hardest part to get started. But now that you know that and you know what's on the other side, you can do this. I hope you were able to follow along here. I know it's kind of a lot. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be so happy to help. The nice part about cash stuffing is if you have extra money at the end of the month in your envelopes, you can either roll it over to the next month, you can add it to a savings challenge, or you can treat yourself, go get your nails done, go get your hair did, go have coffee with your girls. The cash envelope stuffing method is so amazing because it helps you get your finances back in order so you can control it and it will no longer control you. Drive your nuts. All right guys, well that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I enjoyed making it. I hope I was able to help you understand how cash stuffing worked because when I first started, I had no idea. I didn't get it at all. And I hope I inspired you to start your own financial journey. All right guys, bye, have a good one. Mwah, mwah, mwah.